All right, guys, we have a CGC submission here. I have no idea what's in these books. I got five boxes back within a few days. I, I don't know what's what. All right, we are gonna hack and slash our way into this box. You know what to do, hit the thumbs up. Even if you don't enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up. Helps me out, doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, hit the subscription button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these books. I, I don't know what to think about these books because I don't know which ones they are. Uh, hit me up on all the social media, very Gary underscore comics. You know what we do here. That one's gotta go flying. All right, I see a bunch of blue labels, which is good, but I just don't know where they're from, what era is. Guys, also on Whatnot, yeah, you can take it. Okay. On Whatnot, every Tuesday night at 8.30, most Thursday nights at nine o'clock. Guys, Thursday nights are the streams you wanna hit up, man. Well, the Tuesday night ones are great too, but the Thursday night ones, books are going for really cheap. And also, I think every Friday in April, we've got something special going on, so keep an eye out on that. The mystery box auction, woo, mystery box auction at the end of the month, so here we go. Oh, I saw this one already, sorry. This is an Iron Fist number one. This one must, this submission is probably all Bronze Age stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it, Iron Man, Iron Fist number one. This isn't a very expensive book. 90 white pager though, that's a great, great grade in this. This is from 1975. But uh, of course, Marvel Premiere 15 is the book you want. That is the first Iron Fist. This is just the first in title. Next up. Uh, but don't be surprised, that book may climb a little bit if Iron Fist hits the MCU because Marvel Premiere 15, which is his first true appearance, his first actual appearance, will start going up and up and up. And then usually what people do is they'll get the first appearance, the second appearance, and then the first in title. Excuse me over there. Shh. Thank you. Next up. Daredevil 131. This is the first appearance of Bullseye. Great key. This one doesn't stay on the wall long at conventions. I feel like everybody's looking for this book. And... The thing about the Daredevil run, there's not a whole lot of keys. There's not a lot, a lot, a lot of key issues. And this is one of them. This is one of the better ones. This is one of the only bronze keys. What do we have here? 6.0 white pager. This book's going to be nice. Very affordable for somebody. Uh, I always like to cover. I really liked Daredevil season three on Netflix. I really liked Bullseye. I hope they bring Bullseye to the MCU for the Daredevil show. Haven't heard any rumors about it. We know about Kingpin and some other characters. Punisher. But I want to see, I want to see Bullseye. X-Men 101, first appearance of Phoenix. When I, any Anytime I get this book, I send this into CGC. It's just a classic X-Men cover. 6.5, this one's going to be affordable for someone. Uh, Origin, first appearance of Phoenix. Just a great, great, great book. Actually, that seems a little harsh, 6.5. Oh, never mind, bottom left corner. All years. All right, what do we have left? We have, we have four left. All Bronze Age stuff here. Nova number one. First Nova. Watch out for this book. 90 White Pager. I'll take it. Very nice. Richard Ryder. Probably coming to the MCU. There's been a lot of rumors about that as well. This has been a nice Bronze Age submission, I gotta say. A lot of, lot of Bronze Age keys in here. All right. DC Comics presents 26 First Teen Titans. First new Teen Titans. So it's the first Raven, first Cyborg, first Starfire. This book suffers from a terrible cover. Um, if you if they had them, really had them on the cover, this, this would be a much more expensive book than it is. 8.0 white pages. Again, this is going to be affordable. This is going to be affordable. This book, this is like one of those books that like, oh, if it just, if it just had a good cover with them on it. Two left. I might have a Marvel Premiere 15 in here. This is an X-Men 94, second appearance of Nightcrawler, Storm, Thunderbird, and Colossus. First X-Men in title, like w w those characters in title, uh, because they all appeared in Giant Size X-Men number one. Here we go. 3.0, 3 that's low. Oh yeah, the back is kind of a mess there, so. Yeah, this is a 3.0. That's gonna be cheap. That's that's gonna be a, good, a nice whatnot book. I like to put the cheaper stuff on whatnot for people. So here we go. Last but not least, all, oh, I guess there is no Marvel. I guess there is no Marvel Premiere 15. There is an All-Star Comics 58 though. First appearance of Power Girl, 6.0. This is gonna be cheap, cheap, cheap. White Pager as well. Boy, this is a very cheap submission. What, what was I thinking? Ah, these are still great books to get encapsulated. So here we go. What we're gonna do now is I'm going to go get the cover price sales data and we're gonna talk about how much these books are worth on the current fair market according to cover price. 
All right, let's run that cover price sales data. Actually, I need you to leave a comment in this video because I'm gonna hold these books up. I did this earlier with my daughter in videos. And let me know, guys, if you want me to hold the books up or if you like the older way where I actually put a picture of the book on screen. So let me know what you think and I'll try to stick with that way. This is just a lot quicker for me. So let's talk with the Iron Fist number one. This one in a 9.0 white pager white pager. This one coming in at an extremely affordable $109 fair market value. Great Bronze Age book at an absolutely awesome price. Next up, this is Daredevil 131 in that 6.0, another white pager. This is the first appearance of Bullseye. The uh, fair market value seemed to be older than 90 days, but still it came in at $306, might be a little high. Market may have adjusted a little bit on this book, but then on the flip side, people may start speculating on this book because we may get Bullseye and Daredevil. Will we, won't we? I don't know. I know I heard rumors that he wasn't coming, but it's just hard to believe because he did such a good job. X-Men 101, first Phoenix, this one, 6'5", another white pager. Uh, this guy's coming in at $356. Very nice. Next. Is it all cracked? No, just plastic. How about Nova number one? Nova number one. This book has fallen fallen hard based on speculation and everything. I, I, we are going to see Richard Rider in the MCU. He's a major cog in the cosmic universe. This 9-0 is only $120. So the Iron Fist one, the Nova one, both coming in at just over $100. Are you kidding me? We have more books to talk about that came in just over $100. We have one more. But next up, we're gonna talk about DC Comics Presents 26, First Raven, for Cyborg, for Starfire. Yeah, uh, again, book that suffers from a bad cover. Suffers terribly. But this 8.0, $186. Uh, it's a shame, too, because it's a great book. Next up, X-Men 94. This 3.0 coming in at $341. This is going to be a great mystery box book. I might have to put this in the mystery box auction on whatnot. That's at the end of the month. I think the last Friday in April... We're doing the mystery box auction. I have to look. My dates are a little foggy. If you're on whatnot, you can check and see my whole list. But this is a great book. Um, very affordable. Well, I shouldn't say it's super affordable. $341 is a lot of money, especially for a 3.0. But it's like one of those X-Men keys, one of those Bronze Age keys. You, you have to have this, right? You have to have this if you're an X-Men collector. And last but not least, we were talking about $100 books. And this one is the same. First Power Girl. This is an All-Star Comics 58 in a 6.0. Fair market value on this, $103. You got to be kidding me. Uh, another book, I just think this is really undervalued. Some of these DC keys are just undervalued. There's a lot of room. I think DC has a lot of room to grow, and I think it's going to. Now with James Gunn at the helm, we already got like their first phase of their first lineup of books, but James Gunn's one of those guys who like, he likes the obscure characters. Not that Power Girl is an obscure character, but I think he's going to really focus in on some of those B and C level characters. Uh, and this is one of them. I don't know, call me crazy, but I think Power Girl has some value. Teen Titans have to be brought to the big screen because the small screen, it's a great show. Uh, but I, I don't know, just something about some of these DC books. The Iron Fist number one, the Daredevil, uh, the Iron Fist number one, the 9-0, $100, just over 100 bucks. The Nova number one, just over $100. I feel like these books right now are great. It's, it's a great time to buy because I think there's a lot of room for them to grow. Will they be $300 again like they were? No, I don't think so. But they could push 200 bucks in value. Like, seri like the uh, the Nova number one and a 9-0, it should be a $200 book. I feel like it was like $250, $300 during all the hype. But Nova's got to come to the MCU. Very important cosmic character. Uh, $120 fair market value. I'm sure if you go to a convention, you're going to see that 9-0 for like 200 bucks. But still. All right. That's it for me. Guys, again, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Did you like me holding up the books or would you rather the pictures... Do you like the prices on the bottom? Do you not? Let me know what you think. I don't mind switching things up for you. That's it for me though here. Thank you so much for watching. And I just want to remind you one more time. Don't forget we have whatnot streams Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, but every Friday for the month of April. And I don't know when this video is coming out. 
This video may be coming out the end of April, early April, I don't know. But either way, every Friday in April on whatnot, I have a, a special auction. We have a, uh, whether it's a slab auction or Ryan Brown in house, we're dropping a Usagi Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Uh, what else do we have on a Friday? We have the mystery box auction. I think I have one other one that's special. Oh, my collection video, that $400 collection. We're going to do that on a Friday night too on whatnot. I haven't dropped the, fi the part five video yet. By the time you watch this, it may have come out. See this? I got to get all my stuff in order. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.